so excited that you're here. If this is your first time visiting us, my name is Chloe. I write a blog called Box of Avenue, where I share everyday tips for simple living with some from scratch recipes and a little bit of interior design inspiration. I am so excited to teach you how to make authentic French crepes. Whether you call them crepes, crepes, really thin pancakes, these delicious treats are the perfect thing to serve for Sunday morning breakfast. My aunt taught me this recipe and she learned it from her aunt, so this recipe is really special to me and my family and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Crepes uh, originated in Brittany, France. Since then they have spread all over the world. They were initially made with buckwheat flour, which they're still made like that today, but we're going to just use regular old all-purpose flour for our crepes. It's a really, really simple recipe, which is one of the reasons that it started because it was just something that was quick and inexpensive to make and you could fill it with whatever was seasonal um, during the time of year that you were cooking. So today we are going to make just a basic recipe and you can adapt it to fit whatever you need. So if you're going savory, you can make a savory dish with cheeses and meats, or you can go sweet with Nutella or strawberries or bananas. Bananas are my favorite with a little bit of chocolate. So we're going to start with two eggs and you're going to whisk them together and then you're going to add two cups of milk. Once you've got your milk and your eggs together, just give them a little whisk. One of the really important things if you're making this authentic French crepe recipe is to sift in your flour. So once you've got your eggs and your milk and your flour all mixed together, you've sifted your flour in, you're going to add just a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of melted butter. Now, I already made a batch last night so that I could show you how to make them, but if you were doing this the night before or maybe the morning before you were gonna serve these, you wanna cover this and then just put it in the fridge and let it rest. All of the liquid will kind of separate out from the flour, so you wanna give it a good whisk before you start. So I've got the batch that I made last night and I used my bees wrap to cover it, which is my favorite wrap. If you don't have some of this, it's awesome. And just looking at this, it's definitely separated. So I'm going to give this a nice little whisk. You want the batter to be the consistency of half and half or heavy whipping cream. So you want it to have a little bit of consistency. You don't want it to be so thin as skim milk. So if your batter is like pancake batter and it's kind of thick, you can add a little bit more milk and a little bit more oil or butter to thin it out. And do this just in tiny, tiny amounts because it's a lot easier to dilute it than to undilute it. But for this, I think that we're pretty good. So I don't think that I'm going to add any more milk. So I wanna give you guys some tips on making non-rubbery crepes because that was one of the main questions that I got um, when I posted this recipe on Instagram. So the tips that I've kind of found are to make sure your frying pan is really, really hot because you just want that batter to hit and cook immediately and then flip and cook immediately. So if, it's, if you're finding that it's taking more than a minute to cook one side of the crepe, it's not, your frying pan is not hot enough, so you need to warm it up a little bit more. You'll find that kind of like when you're making pancakes, your first crepe is gonna be your, your snack crepe. You're just gonna eat it. It's probably not gonna be the most beautiful because you're getting that heat right. So step one is having the proper heat. Step two is making sure that you are cooking them fast enough because if you're letting them cook for a long time, they're gonna be a little bit rubbery. You want that heat to just go right through and get them nice and crisp on both sides. You may also find that your crepes are a little bit rubbery if you haven't let the batter sit overnight. So that's why you wanna make sure that you let that batter sit overnight. Unless you're using a gluten-free flour, then it's not necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my frying pan out. I'm gonna get it really hot and then we'll start cooking them. So to get started cooking your crepes, you're gonna to wanna to use your favorite frying pan. It doesn't necessarily have to be nonstick, but something that you know isn't going to be really sticky. You can use just a tiny, tiny bit of oil if you feel like you need to, but I found that that kind of gives the crepes a weird consistency. So I'll take a little bit on a paper towel and I'll wipe it in the frying pan just to give it a little bit of nonstick. So I'm just warming up my frying pan to start cooking my crepes, and I've got the heat on high because I want this to get hot, but when I start, I'll turn that heat down. It's really similar to cooking a pancake. You know, sometimes you go too low or sometimes you go too hot and you're kind of just getting that sweet spot of heat. So I'll let this get hot. And once I start cooking them, I'll just set them off to the side because I'm gonna make a crepe cake next. So I'll let these cool completely. But if you wanna keep them warm, you can just turn your oven on to like the warm setting and put them in there. They're really good to serve warm or cold. I love them both ways. You can make crepes ahead of time 
if you want. So say you're making a crepe cake and you want to make them the night before or the day before, you just put them in like a Tupperware and store them. You can layer parchment paper in between to prevent sticking, but they should—they really shouldn't stick together. They'll store for like three to five days. I probably wouldn't go over five days. You can also freeze crepes. Make sure that you take them out the night before and put them in the refrigerator. So that way they thaw out and you're not trying to like microwave them and thaw them or like pull them apart because they'll just break in half. So I'm thinking my pan is just about hot enough, so I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Another reason that crepes can get rubbery is if you're using too much batter and you're pouring it in and making it more like a pancake, it's not going to work. You don't have any baking powder or baking soda in there, so they're not going to rise. They're just going to turn into this rubbery cake. So you want them to be really thin. So if you're using a smaller pan, use less than a quarter cup. If, even if you're using a larger pan, a quarter cup is probably the best amount to use. So I think my pan was just a little too hot there, but that's okay. This is gonna be my snack crib. <clears throat> You'll notice that the edges start to curl up, and as soon as those edges start to curl up, that's when it's getting ready to flip. About 30, 45 seconds, depending on how hot your pan is. My pan was just a little bit too hot, but that's okay. Now I know to turn the heat down, and we'll just move on to the next one. All of the crepes from the batter. This recipe makes about 12 if you're doing it using an 8 inch pan. And I'm going to let these cool because I'm going to be making a crepe cake. So if you want to learn how to make a strawberry and cream crepe cake, be sure to watch our next video. But if you're just making crepes for Sunday morning breakfast or a fancy Sunday night dinner, you can fill these with Nutella, chocolate chips and banana. You can use strawberries and cream, yogurt and granola. One of the most classic variations is just a little lemon juice and sugar. I really like cinnamon sugar. You don't need butter or anything. You steam from the crepe and you just fold it up and it melts. It's so delicious. If you want to make a savory crepe, one of the most classic ways is with mushrooms and cheese and ham. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make my family's authentic French crepe recipe. If you make these crepes, I'd love to see pictures. You can tag me at Boxwood Avenue. If this is your first time visiting us, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any more of our videos. And be sure to visit us at boxwoodavenue.com.